Okay, so this is my review for the Xbox Elite version 2 controller. Um, it came out November 4th, 2019, and I bought this one at launch. Um, and I couldn't be happier, honestly. This is my favorite controller of all time. I've, uh, you know, never had a controller this good before. It's uh, absolutely amazing. And uh, I'm going to tell you why. So, it's been like, I don't know, it's been like eight months or something like that since I've had it. And I've had no issues with it. I've just been absolutely in love with it ever since I first held on to it. Um, I've had uh, other people say that it's too heavy. I've had other people hold it and they're like, oh, I don't like it, it's too heavy. But that is because it has the built-in battery. I don't fuck with batteries anymore. I hate that shit. Um, and this controller is really the only reason why I'm playing on Xbox. If PlayStation had a controller this good, I would, uh, you know, probably still be on PlayStation, but I can't stand the PlayStation controllers anymore. But this thing is amazing. I'll, I'll be using this on the Xbox Series X for sure. Um, into I use the uh, tap triggers. So I have them all the way down. So you have to pull them all the way down. Um, just preference. Also, my preference is the sticks are loose. You can have them like original, loose, or tight. Um, one of my buddies actually had a bought one as well. And he put them tight, the sticks tight. And he said that he was getting stick drip. And uh, he also um, got a new one, just left it on normal, and he said he also got stick drip. So I don't know, it's never been an issue for me yet because as soon as I bought it, I put it on loose and I've left it on loose uh, sticks ever since. So I've never had stick drip, I've never had a problem with it. Um, I absolutely love the uh, the USB C is the best thing ever made. <laughs> you know, uh, fuck. When I used to have an old Xbox controller connected to my PC, because I also use it to play Modern Warfare on PC. Um, cause it, you can get a wireless adapter, but I mean. Fuck it. I just plug it into my PC. And like the old, I don't even know, USB, uh, you know, the old version is absolutely fucking terrible. Because eventually the cords is gonna, you know, become disconnected. It's not gonna sit in there properly and it's just not gonna fucking work. I cannot stand that old USB bullshit. Um... It also comes with this charging case, which is pretty nice if you want to bring it around places. I don't, you know, extra shit, the tool. I think it can't comes default with this D-pad. I don't, I'm not, you know, into that circular D-pad or the extra sticks. I, don't, I didn't really use any uh, of the extra stuff. I don't even really use this case unless I'm bringing it somewhere. But you can also just fucking charge it right in the case. Pretty awesome. But, uh... <clears throat> yeah, really, I fucking love these back paddles. Absolutely fucking love them. Because um, I have my... Actually, I usually don't even use the left two pads. I just use the right two pads. One to just move forward on the left stick and that one is click the left stick so I can just walk and run. I can play games with one hand uh, with this controller and you know fucking use my mouse while I'm playing. I usually play two games <laughs> at once 
because uh, I got the two monitors here, one Xbox, one's my PC, and uh, so I can go super nerd hardcore and play, you know, two games at once, uh, and it's just so much goddamn easier to like run fast in Call of Duty with the the new tactical sprint. You can do that really fast. Um, it's great. And also change profiles on the fly. So like I press the profile button, that changes my pads in the back to uh, different, for different games I have different profiles. Some games, you know, require uh, different buttons to run um, and stuff like that. So I have it, all three profiles set up and then there's just the default. But <clears throat> there's a lot of controllers out there that are similar on PlayStation, but none of them have everything that this does. Um, like, you know, the in-game, in-your-console mapping, uh, they could just change any button to anything you want, you know, chain, uh, which is just, I mean, it's goddamn awesome, and, uh, yeah, I just love this controller so much, and, um, I would recommend it to literally everybody, there's, the only thing that's hard to recommend is the price tag. This thing was goddamn expensive, especially in Canadian dollars. I paid a lot of loonies and toonies for it. Um, it was like, I don't know what it is in American, I think it's 180 American right now. So Canadian, it, it was like 220. And then plus tax, I ended up paying like 250 fucking dollars for this, but it's worth every penny. I absolutely love it. Like when I, and I'm going to buy the Xbox series X, um, and I can use it on the Xbox series X as well. So when I buy that, I will, you know sell the controller that comes with the console because there's no way in hell it's good, <laughs> as good as this um, and I s the new PlayStation 5 controllers look like shit too and they definitely don't um, not gonna work as good as this one I literally cannot go back I cannot use any other controllers ever again it, it'll change your goddamn gaming life. <laughs> like, it is amazing. Literally. Um, I'm just waiting for them to, uh, drop the, the release date and, uh, the price and stuff. So they could, they could just take my money. Like, right now, I'm gonna, you know, pre-order the Series X immediately when it goes live. Um, I just finished watching that uh, Xbox showcase. Showed a lot of new good games. Um, I'm hyped. Super hyped. I think, uh, yeah, I don't know. I think that's it. It's, uh, it's worth a buy. It's, uh, I recommend it. If you got the cash and, and you know, you play a lot of Xbox or you play on PC and you uh, want the best controller ever made, then, you know, it's for you. This is Relapse. Peace, I'm out.